Okay, here we are with the Kuma wireless Wi-Fi hotspot kit. Designed for a situation when you've got a Wi-Fi signal, you're in a caravan, there is a Wi-Fi signal somewhere near you, but you're just too far away to connect to it, or you find that when you come into the caravan, the Wi-Fi signal drops out completely. Okay, so a perfect example here. We've got our iPad, go into settings, we click on Wi-Fi, the iPad does a little scan around and there's no networks for us to connect to even though I know that just over that way is the campsite Wi-Fi antenna on the side of the toilets block and the washroom block. They've got a little antenna there called campsite 2 because I'm in the caravan I simply can't see that on my iPad. If I go outside I can just about connect to it now and again but it's sketchy. Come inside cannot even see it or connect. Okay, so here is the Kuma wireless Wi-Fi hotspot kit. Extend your wireless internet connection up to 1.5 kilometers, approximately a mile away. So if there's a Wi-Fi connection within a mile, we can point the directional antenna at the signal and we can get a connection in our camper van or our motorhome or our truck or whatever we've got. Okay, so we've got a 16 dBA antenna, directional antenna, router, connect up to five different devices, tablet, smartphone, uh, laptop, anything that's got a browser. You don't need any sort of wires or any USB connections, anything like that. All you need is a browser and Wi-Fi built into your device, laptop, tablet or mobile. And it works with all browsers. Okay, so let's see what's inside the box. So the kit comes in two different versions, standard Wi-Fi kit or Wi-Fi kit plus 3G. This is the standard Wi-Fi kit. Okay, so inside we've got the packaging there, two very distinct sections, the router, quick start guide, and the long range antenna. So we're just going to the quick start guide, really, really, really simple. Basically you're asked to set up the router first, so we'll do that. Open the router box, take out the little router. Attach the little antenna. Now just to explain a quick few things about the router. It's wall mountable. It doesn't need to be out in the vehicle. Visible, you can put it in a wardrobe, hide it in a cupboard, anywhere you like. It just needs a little bit of power, which we'll talk about now. Power can come via mains power. Standard little mains plug on there. Or if you're in a camper van, motorhome, caravan, something like that. Also comes with a little 12 volt power supply which is the one we're going to use today. Once you've powered them up, as I say you don't need to have that out on show, you can hide that in a wardrobe or a cupboard or anywhere like that. Okay, so what plugs into the router is the Kuma antenna. Very, very, very simple to use. Open the box. Directional antenna inside, we'll come, we'll come to why it's directional in a moment. Really simple to use. Little thumb clip underneath, lift him up, pop the bottom off. One connection inside. Five meter USB lead, so you can have the antenna up to five meters away from the router. The antenna can be used outdoors in exceptionally bad weather. It's completely weatherproof, completely waterproof, as long as you mount it upright. Uh, or an angle. Uh, most people who use this system don't even put the antenna outside. It works perfectly well through glass, plastic, that sort of thing. Most people just leave them leaning up against the window frame or something like that. But you can fix it outside. Uh, permanent mounts included. Jubilee clip which slips through the mounting hole. Goes around any post you want to use it on. You can put it on a jockey wheel handle on a caravan. Put it on the handles of a caravan that you pull the caravan with truck bumpers, anything like that. It's also got two mounting screws so you can slide it on to a permanent fixing. So that's the mounting situation. All we're going to do now is plug the bottom of the antenna in like that. Replace the bottom cover or such. And in this case I know the 
signals just slightly behind me over there so I'm just going to leave that leaning on that windowsill like that I'm going to plug the front of that into the router you need to plug the antenna into the router before you power it up that's the only thing you need to remember it does say that very clearly in the quick start guide and all we're going to do now is power up the router okay so we've powered up the router two lights on power light and the wireless LAN light is flashing okay so referring to the quick start guide very very simple on your device whether it's an iPad smartphone connect your Wi-Fi on your device to the 11N router AP signal no password required at this point because it's straight out of the box you can set the password if you want and that will protect your router from anybody else using it. at the moment it's got no password we can do that later on open a browser in this case we've got Chrome in the middle here and type into the address bar 192.168.2.1 that's the hardest bit do remember you need to type it into the address bar which is the bar here not the Google search bar which is the search bar in the middle some of people have got browse um, tabs or browsers coming down here with search bars in them you must type it in the address bar uh, for example if you was on the BBC that's where you'd see www.bbc.co.uk you must type it in there 192.168.2.1 and press go asks you for a password which we know about says it in the manual admin admin again you can change that later on if you wish and log in presented with a screen which says easy setup USB wireless adapter and then in the instructions it just says do a site survey the antenna now will go off and it will search for every website every access point it can possibly see so if you remember let's go back to the iPad itself if we look at the settings on the iPad and we do a scan for Wi-Fi imagine you're sitting in your caravan nothing's appearing there's nothing you can connect to apart from the 11 and 3G router there's nothing out there that we can connect to however if we do a site survey using the Kuma Wi-Fi kit we've got five or six possible options uh, one of which is campsite 2 which is the one I know the name of and I know the password for so I'm going to select that one click select um, again in the quick start guide it explains if you have a passphrase or it is a passphrase you must put it in the passphrase box click next wait for it to reboot you'll see we're on the net now uh, we're connected to the distant access point the USB light is on which means we're connected to the internet go back to our iPad make sure we're still connected the iPad still connected to the router which is good the router's connected to the net. Go back in there, go to Chrome, and uh, we're off and running. There's your websites there, all loaded up from the internet. Let me just click on videos, and we're off and running. We're online. Okay, so to connect any other device to the router, five devices allowed. We connect to the 11N3G router AP. It's already connected because there's no password on there. Open a browser on your device. In the search box, type the address of the website you want to visit. And the BBC homepage loads up on the screen. So we're in a caravan. We're a very, very, very long way away from the access point and there's the BBC homepage and we can jump around and check our emails and do whatever we like to do. Similarly, exactly the same way, five devices can connect to this. If you've got a laptop, it's exactly the same scenario. You just connect 
your laptop to the router. So we've now got the iPad, the phone, and in a moment the laptop connected. And just bear in mind if you have a campsite, if you have a campsite that charges per device, which a lot of them do, so they'll charge you per week for your phone and they'll charge you per week for your iPad, per week for your laptop. With the Kuma Wi-Fi kit you only pay once, pay for the kit and then you can connect five of your devices. Just go down here, select the 11N 3G router, connect up to that. Click I trust this network. And um, you're on the internet. Simple as that. So five devices connected for the price of one. A couple of weeks camping. And it's all paid for itself. Okay, the Kuma Wi-Fi hotspot kit also comes with a 3G version. The 3G version comes with the wireless system you've just seen previously. If you buy the 3G version, you also get a 3G dongle and an external antenna for the dongle with a magnetic base. The dongle of course needs a SIM card, we've got one in here, with our company SIM card. You need to provide a, get a SIM card from a data provider, whether it be 3 or Vodafone or EE, whichever is offering the best data package for you at the time. So shop around, get yourself a data SIM card, uh, or take the one out of your phone and pop it into the dongle. The dongle then spins around thus and if required the dongle will accept the external magnetic antenna in the socket which can then be put outside the vehicle if you're in an area with a particularly bad signal. Here we've got quite a good signal but I'm going to pop that onto the window sill anyway just to improve the signal. It is magnetic so if you've got a canal boat and that will work on there and you must plug the dongle into the router before you power up the router. Router goes on. Similarly to the wireless situation we won't have any sort of uh, USB light on until we've configured the dongle only is doing once with each SIM card and again very very simple to connect via 3G section in the instructions. If required admin, admin is the password and this time rather than clicking on USB wireless adapter we're going to click 3G dongle of course. It takes us to the dongle home screen very very simple screen uh, all it's asking for is an APN password and an APN service name. There's a list on the back of all known UK APN passwords and service names. In this case, we're using three SIM cards, so three UK any SIM. The APN is three internet. Three internet and the password and username it's telling me on the screen here needs to be blank. Click next. Okay, we've had a pop up warning screen here. Warning budget control is now disabled. Basically, if you've got a SIM card that's got a data limit on it, so let's say you're allowed 3 or 4 gigabytes a month or 20 gig a month, you can set that 
in the software and it will remind you when you're going up to your budget. We're not worried about that at the moment. Uh, so we just click OK on that. Screen loads up. It's asking us if we want to set a security on the router, which we can. We can put a password in there. You can call it, you know, My Caravan Router if you want to change the name of it and put a password of your choosing on there. I'm just going to leave it blank for demonstration purposes, but it's very, very easy to do. Uh, do remember if you do put a password on there, next time you log in, you'll need to go back to your settings on your device, whether it's an iPad or whatever it is, and you will need to put the password in on the wireless settings. Meanwhile, you can see the wireless LAN light has gone off on the router, meaning it's rebooting. The power light is still on. So what will happen now, the device reboots, it will come on again and it will power up our SIM card. The wireless LAN light will come back on so we know we're connected. So as it boots up again, let's just double check and make sure yet again that the device is connected to the 11N 3G router and it hasn't dropped over to any other uh, nearby networks that might not be very good, might not be working for us. As you can see, the flashing light's now gone solid, which means we've got a nice strong connection. The USB light is on on the router, which means we've got internet. Everything's happy. Open the browser. Open a new tab. Type in BBC. And we're online. Similarly, with the Wi-Fi system, we can now connect as many devices as we like to one dongle. So we go onto our smartphone. Make sure we're connected to 11N 3G router. Open the browser. Refresh the page. As you can see, that's working absolutely fine. Loading up fine. Similarly, laptop comes through. You want to use a laptop with a dongle. You don't have to just waste your dongle just plugging it into one thing. The laptop is connected to the 11N 3G router. I want to browse a web page. I just browse away. So all these devices are now connected to one dongle, the signal out of the dongle being shared by the Kuma wireless hotspot kit.